Today we're here at 2271 Cherokee Valley Drive, a recently renovated home. It's had a lot of time and care put into it. Yard does need a final cut. Weeds are about a foot and a half high in areas. stone facing over here to the right of the main entry has a pipe that's come out that is not far enough away like the pipe to the left there that you see the one to the right the copper piping is actually dripping back against uh, the structure which is going to cause damage Appears to be some damage right above the uh, garage left door to the uh, soffit area. We'll address more issues with the roof in the backyard when we go back there. This home has all new flooring in it, all new paint inside and out. It's an entryway. Some damage behind the door. I should say an area that was missed. Here we have our alarm system with stains all around it. Let's take a look at the first bedroom on our left. A ding in the door on our entryway. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Again, brand new carpet. This bedroom has two closets left and right of the entry door and above the door we have a carbon monoxide sensor. Staying on the main floor we have the kitchen. All brand new stainless steel appliances. New sink, faucet, tile backsplash. The ceiling is where we have a concern. As you see that black mold growing there, you also see some previous water damage that was covered up. You can see that because of the walls towards the top six inches there, uh, the water line. The camera picks this up more clearly than just looking at it with the naked eye because we don't have light to shine in there. Let's take a look at the dining room. Dining room has a new lighting fixture. New locks on the door going into the garage. Signs of forced entry earlier. It is a solid door, even though the crack between the two, the deadbolt uh, and the knob. This has all been painted. We have two separate garage doors, so we have two separate garage door openers. The floor has been sealed. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs we have a smoke alarm in the hallway. Have a linen closet. First bedroom left, top of the stairs. Call this bedroom. Bedroom two. Have water stain. Again, that roof uh, may need some serious repair. I'll show you later on the outside. There's a smoke alarm above the door. Again, brand new carpet. Let's 
Second bedroom at the top of the stairs does not, uh, the light does not work. Hopefully it's just a light bulb that is out. This does have new paint as well. You probably just caught that. Camera picks up water stains. The second water stain in the second bedroom up here. Let's take a look at the bathroom. The water heater's pilot light has not been lit. So there is no hot water. There is gas on at the appliances. They have been test fired. Um, stove and oven work exceptionally well. They're brand new. New ceiling fan. Light fixture, good sized closet, here in the master, evidence of recent repair can be found by the drywall dust that was left along the molding there. For some reason, every one of the bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs are keyed. They actually have locks. Not sure why that a key is sticking out of a bathroom upstairs, but in case you wanted to lock that up, I guess. Let's take a look downstairs. This is the living room. Of course, we have our smoke detector. Close proximity of the kitchen area. Fireplace that is wood burning. It appears the quarter round is about three eighths of an inch to a quarter of an inch above the flooring. This quarter round was just replaced within the last couple of days. As you can see, it had uh, white caulk spread on the stones as well as some white paint and they actually used cracked quarter round when they replaced that and put it back here's our security system let's take a look at our half bath downstairs In the laundry room or slash utility room, this door leads out <clears throat> outside and it is actually uh, screwed shut with some of those sheetrock nails, one and five eighths. You can tell the floor has had some, uh, some damage in here, some water stains. This wall needs work. That is a 220, 220 volt plug there at the bottom right that's hanging out on a cord. And we're going to plug our dryer into that. The outlets would not pass code because you can stick your finger behind there. Here's that leaking pipe that we talked about out front. This leaking pipe that runs almost constantly as we follow this along actually comes down to our water heater. The water heater is not lit. There's our inside AC. Let's take a look outside. First of all, let's take a look at the door. And we have the barred screen door, if you will. It's locked very well. Here's our backyard. Neighbors to the right, about four and a half feet in area, so overgrown. We have some issues out here. We need to mow our yard. Uh, the fence does have some breaks in it over there to the left. 
as well as to the right you can see it weaving back towards the uh, into the backyard got some holes back here to be aware of this one's about 8 by 20 wide it goes 10 inches deep I didn't stand in the middle of it for fear of it giving way there's a depression probably about 8 to 10 inches deep maybe 5 foot around in diameter uh, just looking at liability concerns there they do have uh, two children and one on the way folks that are about to move in here's the issue we have on the back soffit fascia the roof above this is what's causing that water damage in the kitchen the two bedrooms that had the water stains there's damage up there if you notice at the apex above the vent there's a hole about the size of a baseball that's probably birds or squirrels bats you want to make sure that that's sealed up This home is just painted. Obvious damage on the fascia board behind the gutter. Let's take a look at the fence on this side. And that concludes our inspection here at 2271 Cherokee Valley Drive.